discovers cutting their strings, returns the dolls to humans, freeing Silva. Abel realizes Mash used super-fast sleight of hand to swap the coin he stole with a button, surprising him. Silva is confused that Mash saved him just because it was the right thing to do. Lemon reveals Mash has Adler's only gold coin, but Lang has 15. Mash and Lance are later attacked by Magia Lupus member 6th Magic Fong Olor, who transforms into a shark, and 7th Magic Fong Answer, who controls a magical shuriken, wagering gold coins on who wins. Mash is sent to Olor's underwater pocket dimension to fight Olor. Lance crushes Answer and his shuriken with gravity magic. Mash swims at over 10 kilometers an hour and knocks Olor unconscious. Lance claims their gold coin before they are retrieved by second. Magic Fong Abyss, a masked Magia Lupus who can negate people's spells and moves faster than Mash can punch. After leaving he realizes Mash did manage to crack his mask and wonders if Mash is as unique as him. Lance decides they should attack Lang at their dorm, even though dorm locations are strict secrets. Tom and a dozen other students experience a nightmare of being trapped and awaken almost totally drained of magic. Lemon gives Mash a cream puff plush toy she made as a lucky charm. Lance is certain Magia Lupus are responsible so he, Mash, Finn and Dot patrol the school overnight and discover Lemon turned into one of Abel's dolls. They follow her to a concealed door and, after Lance and Dot fail to open it magically, Mash simply tears it off its hinges. They find an underground arena where a Lang student, Shuen Getsuku, offers to duel them on the orders of Magia's third fong. Dot decides to duel. Headmaster Wahlberg is warned by the Bureau of Magic Six Death Row prisoners recently escaped, assisted by Innocent Zero. Dot defeats his opponent, but a spell separates the four to make them easier to defeat. Lance faces third Fong Worth. Finn and Dot jointly face fifth Fong Love and fourth Fong Milo. Mash faces Abyss who has realized Mash is magic less, but sympathizes with him as his power to negate spells is similarly despised by magic society. Mud magic user Worth invites Lance to join Magia Lupus, claiming it will make Lance stronger than Adler could. Lance refuses, believing Worth is weak for relying on others for strength. Worth summons Mud Demon Madero. Lance, having figured out the damage-absorbing properties of Worth's mud, manipulates gravity to pull Madero apart. Worth is defeated but Lance sympathizes with him and respects the effort he put into training. Abyss cuts Mash several times and reveals a relic is draining lemons. Magic, in 30 minutes, she will become magicless permanently. Abyss impales Mash, but by tensing his stomach muscles he prevents the sword being pulled out and headbutts Abyss, breaking his mask, revealing his evil eye, which is despised by magic society for its magic nullifying power. Abyss casts a spell that makes Mash move slower. Mash smashes the ground, limiting the places Abyss can move, and defeats him with a German suplex. Abyss despises his evil eye, which his parents tried to kill him for, and now all he has is his loyalty to Abel. Mash offers to be his friend since to him the evil eye isn't scary, so there is no possibility he would ever hate him. Abyss is certain even Mash would come to hate him one day, but warns Mash he hasn't seen Abel's true power yet. Mash decides to beat up Abel anyway, then get cream puffs with Abyss. An Adler dorm prefect follows directions on a note and finds the concealed door. Love, an emotionally unstable tornado magic user, decides to kill Dot from jealousy when he claims to be engaged to Lemon. Dot creates a smokescreen to try steal her wand but is trapped inside a tornado. Love reveals Milo set a trap on the concealed door, unless they defeat Milo in 30 minutes, Mash will turn to stone. Dot remembers his sister telling him it's okay to fight back, especially to protect a friend. He breaks free of the tornado, revealing under his headband is the warding cross Ira Cruz, meaning he has the innate ability to increase his magic power based on his emotional state. Love is so scared of his raging power she surrenders. Milo, a stone magic prodigy, is instantly defeated by the Adler prefect, divine visionary Rain Ames, a sword magic user, and Finn's older brother. Love escapes, while Rain encounters Mash and realizes he is the student Wahlberg told him he could trust. 
He too, warns Mash about Abel, but also informs him if he defeats Abel and wins all his stolen coins, Mash will instantly be a candidate to be the newest divine visionary. Rain continues with his own mission while Mash finally reaches Abel. Abel takes control of Mash to make him kill himself, but he just snaps the magic strings. Abel instead summons Dolphin, reasoning Mash won't hurt a friend, but Mash snaps his strings by throwing his gold coin at them using his curveball technique. Mash succeeds in kicking Abel in the face, but Abel manages to fully turn Mash into a doll. He tries to take his coin but finds only a cream puff, followed by Doll Mash punching him from self-preservation instinct overriding the magic, returning him to normal. Infuriated Abel summons Harm Puppet, his strongest doll, but again Mash smashes the doll, destroys its strings and smashes Abel's head into the floor. Abel recalls his mother was a kind woman who tried to help the less fortunate, until a commoner killed her just for being a noble, leading to Abel's absolute belief that the weak deserve to be used. He nonetheless admits Mash defeated him, surrenders his coins, and frees every student he turned into dolls, including Finn, Lemon, and Dot. But Lance remains missing. Elsewhere, Rain finds Lance is actually a disguised member of Innocent Zero searching the school for something. But since Abel has failed to find it he rushes off to kill Abel, leaving Rain to fight cannibalistic serial killer Jean-Pierre. The innocent Zero Mage arrives to kill Abel. Mash obliviously covers him in cream due to a poorly timed sneeze, bewildering everybody. The mage realizes with some disgust that Mash is who he is looking for. Abyss is almost killed saving Abel with the mage realizing he only missed a fatal blow with his carbon magic, because Mash threw a perfectly aimed rock at his wand. Abel is confused why Abyss tried to save him. Mash points out Abyss was probably grateful Abel accepted him when nobody else did. Abel remembers his mother telling him the importance of empathy and distracts the mage, allowing Mash to punch him only to find his skin protected by indestructible carbon. Refusing to believe Mash is using physical strength only the mage gloatingly uses a spell flexion mirror to reflect Mash spells back at him, but Mash simply smashes it. This unintentionally reveals to everyone that Mash has only used physical strength since joining the academy, because he is magic less. The mage reveals he is cell war before teleporting away. Abel takes Abyss to the infirmary. Mash's friends decide to keep his secret, until they remember Abel's 100 freed dolls are human again and heard everything, meaning Mash's secret is exposed. Cell reports to his father, he has finally located Mash, 